Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for A.com. Today's topic of our discussion is why is Jarkov's rule important within three minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin with the Jarkov's rule. According to Jarkov's rule, the amount of adenine equals the amount of thiamine in a DNA molecule, whereas the amount of guanine equals the amount of cytosine. Or in other words, the amount of purine nitrogen species is equal to the amount of pyrimidine nitrogen species. This provided one of the most important clue for the discovery of DNA structure by Watson and Crick in 1953. Later they were awarded with Nobel Prize in 1962 for their discovery along with Maurice Wilkins. And this is a paper published by Watson and Crick in Nature. In that paper they mentioned about this Charkov's rule and how they used this data to orient the pieces together in making their DNA structure. The first major input for the discovery of DNA structure by Watson and Crick came from the X-ray crystallographic data of Rosalind Franklin of Maurice Wilkins lab. From this X-ray crystallographic data, they got the idea of the DNA double helix. The next question was how to arrange the bases inside this DNA. At the beginning, Watson thought about a like with like arrangement, that is adenine pairs with adenine and guanine pairs with guanine. And they found out that if purine and purine, if it is together, then the DNA strand will be too wide. Whereas pyrimidine and pyrimidine placed together, as it is single ringed, it will be too narrow. When they put together purine and pyrimidine, the width is consistent with the X-ray crystallographic data published by Rosalind Franklin. During that time, from 1948 to 1952, Charkovs published many publications regarding the base composition and finally formulated this Charkov's rule. So they got the experimental evidence also, thus explaining the base pairing regularities or complementary relationships of nucleic acids. The second most important contribution of Charkov's rule is Watson and Crick could explain the DNA copying mechanism. They proposed that as there is a base pairing complementarity, one strand will serve as a template for the synthesis of another strand. They also developed this idea from the Charkov's rule of base complementarity. Then the third point is the tetranucleated hypothesis proposed by Phobius Levin that was disproved by Charkov's experiment. Phobius Levin who discovered the composition of nucleotides that is sugar, phosphate and nitrogenous bases proposed a tetranucleated hypothesis that was very significant at that time as DNA was composed of repeated units of GACT tetramer. This was disproved by Charkov's rule. Linus Pauling's triple helical model was first disproved by the X-ray crystallographic data of Rosalind Franklin further confirmed by Ir Irvin Charkov's rule. In summary, Charkov's rule explained base pairing regularities or complementarity relationships of DNA, thus helping Watson and Crick for orienting the base pairs in accordance with the Charkov's rule. That perfectly matches with the X-ray crystallographic data of Rosalind Franklin. Second point, it helps Watson and Crick to explain the DNA copying mechanism and Charkov's rule disproved tetranucleated hypothesis and also triple helical structure of DNA 